go. Plus one, two, three. Uh, yeah, apparently my computer just lost connection and apparently my avatar is very happy about something. Um, screen share, please? Give me a second to reset this. Okay, the hell is going on with that? Apparently, the mouth is stuck on the avatar. Let me <laughs> shut that off and turn it back on again. <laughs> oh, that just looks stupid. Kind of like those... Uh... Slimes. Oh, yeah. I was going to compare to uh, whenever a cartoon does a uh, off-brand Muppet. Test one, two. There Three, we go. four, five. Okay, apparently my... Yeah, apparently my antivirus was, has... All of a sudden now has an issue with uh, PC faces. Yeah, face tracker. But oh well. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I had it moved since it lost connection. I did talk about some stuff. Uh, about how... Uh, how do you talk about... How oh, that Twitch has decided to screw over its uh, creators again? I actually looked up some videos again. Also, I don't hear the game. I hear you, but not the game. Oh, I see. It, I have to reconnect my headset again, which disconnected the audio. Let's see, why the hell is this window so freaking big every time I open it? Voice meter input, that should be it. That's odd. Why is it? Actually, oh. Um. Properties. Oh, I think I see what's going on. And the sound settings. This one is default communication. Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay, I, I had the cables or the, the figurative cables for Discord and uh, the game switched. So <laughs> this OBS was getting the full blast audio of the game instead of you. Okay. Uh, well, now I can hear. But yeah, to your question, I actually did watch up, uh, at least two videos about this. See? And uh, yeah, like uh, first the good news, they gonna you no longer allowed to gamble on Twitch, which I I did not even know you could that. You think they'd have done that something about that earlier? Okay, growing some water lettuce there for the bunnies. Uh, but in my case, I just didn't know that was possible or that people even did that. I was. Found that surprising, but all right. But they started that with the good news. Then you said that instead of getting something like those that have affiliate or something gets 70 30 profit from uh, ads and such, and regular uh, Twitchers just get 50 50, instead of doing it a bit more fair, they said that everyone only gets 50 50. Yeah, and of course the big ones are going to be making the big bucks, so that 20% is going to be a big, uh, going to be a lot of profits moved. So to yeah. Twitch themselves, in this and, case. Yeah, and uh, I've also uh, seen, you know, or also heard that they're also changing up how things are working with uh, the bids, which are basically uh, donations, or indirect money do donations. And... Yeah, people aren't happy about that either, of course. Uh oh, for love of. And here, the, here first of all, uh, taking away money from the who, those who already earn quite good, just chopped it off. Says, yeah, that's just a bit weird. 
And the solution is... You wanna earn more money? Run more ads. Yeah, I keep forgetting is... Twitch have ads. Yeah, okay. yeah, we need to deal with these before we, they start to tar up the place. And yeah, I actually got to learn how the ads work and it's horrible. Like, the, like let's say I, uh, if I was to watch this on Twitch now and joined one hour later, I would need to see all the ads for all the hours I missed before I could start watching the, st the stream itself. Yeah. This is... That is quite cool. For some people in the way they stream, you end up uh, having for the entire stream like... Okay, just an example. The example is, we see the example is here is now 10. If you, you're in halfway through, you're gonna need to watch five ads before you can watch the stream. Yeah, which really doesn't seem to realize that the way to get people to watch more ads is to actually play less of them. Because the more ads you play, the more people are going to put up ad blockers. So with them constantly putting up more, it only means that there's going to be more ad blockers and thus less revenue actually gained. Yeah, and many ad makers, uh, the people that, that make ads, yeah, maybe they are about out of touch of what's funny. Like, yeah. you, you usually tolerate a short, like a six, six second ad, if it's just or another ad that is just straight to the point and you can skip. Because if I do my ads for YouTube, I usually can skip them, or they're usually not annoying. And the annoying ones, nowadays I can find at least usually skip them. Yeah. But when you have annoying ads that try to be funny, but they fight badly... Yeah, people are gonna get annoyed about seeing those. That's really and thing. apparently you can't skip the ads on Twitch. You have yeah. to finish watching them. That, that, just why? Because like, they if think it was... they're being smart when all they're they doing are not is being just, smart. Yeah, cutting off their own feet, so to speak. Yeah, like if, if it's just unskippable six seconds ads, fine. That's just six seconds, but not if if I'm if I gonna guess that's not how Twitch works. They're gonna probably use any ad possible. Yeah, and there are some people who oh, hell, damn it. That's a gold. That's a freaking gold slime. Oh, for Those love! Those are rare. Again, again they escape you. Yep, that one was looking bad. Yeah, <laughs> uh, right. What were you to say? Uh, there are some uh, companies out there just run ob obnoxiously long ads. Like for some stupid reason, they thought putting in a, a ads that are 50 minutes or even longer than that. I've heard of, at one point, there was at least one ad that ran for two fucking hours. And yeah, yeah. you can't skip. So yeah, Twitch is yeah. Uh, giving a showcase of how to kill off your own business. Yeah, uh, but notice I see ads now like 10, 15 minutes. They're usually cooking shows, commercials for a local milk store or something. It's usually skippable, but seeing those, if I were to see those on Twitch, you can't skip those? Yeah, You're basically forced fail. to watch a cooking show for 15 minutes. That's horrible. And I have had, I, I think this is, it was a bug in the ad system where they one time gave me an ad I could skip, but it was about three hours long. It was about campfire. It was campfire noise I think that was a bug and another time they uh, it's uh, instead of just an ad it was it was an ad that confused uh, some show in Middle East a music show like uh, the music festival in that style it was about four hours long I just looked at them wondering why is this an ad this is, and this is a four-hour show. What the heck? And I think that was just a bug. That they picked the wrong video from the list. 
Could be. Uh, for some reason, I've been getting German ads a lot lately. I rarely get those. I have had some rare occasion I had an ad from some very different country. Let's see. But I think that's just a glitch in the ad system. But good gods, I remember several years ago, way before I met you, still when I used my PS3 for YouTube, for some reason, when we had election month, where we had to a vote, some politicians thought, let's put ads on YouTube that are 30 minutes long about why they should vote for us, or why that person is bad or is all that. Yeah, and those ads crashed the PlayStation. Yeah, the, the, I, I ended up watching one once, but still, they usually crash the PlayStation. So whenever I saw them, I was skip, back away, back away, or skip. If I could skip, I skip, otherwise I back away to avoid. But actually, yeah, I don't think you could skip most of them uh, normally just then. Or very really early on, but I had to go away, then go back to the video and scroll back where I was. But many times they could just outright crash the console. That you're you again? What are you hiding? Yeah, what, what are you hiding behind that smile? Wait, the music. I think there's Taurus somewhere. Oh, hello. Those trolls we, we typically keep stashed away for, yeah, the hens, which are... I'm currently using the cotton slime uh, tap, the coral as an uh, as an improvised coop. Oh. Okay, that was oh, another dear. chicken taking their own way out. Yeah, oh, almost got... Uh, yes. Oh dear. Uh, apparently many Twitchers are looking forward to us uh, for possibly moving to YouTube full-time. If uh, Twitch is not, yep. yeah, getting the act together, only problem is that while YouTube is better many things, they are still working on improving the streaming service on YouTube. Yeah, like the chat system and all that. And yep. yeah, there is a way, I think, to stream to both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. I'll have to look into. What that, I, how that if that is even feasible? Uh, I don't think up. that is feasible. I think you have to sign if for some reason they have to sign contract to not. I don't think YouTube wants you to do that. I mean, there is a system that if, if, if YouTube notices you streaming on two platforms at the same time, they cut you off. And I know as an affiliate, they want you to only stream on Twitch, but. As someone who isn't, I'm not sure. And is there a guy, sir? Okay. I didn't think of this. We haven't been here before because we have this. Hello. Oh. Okay, didn't expect that. Holy! Well, I think we found how we travel between islands. I was right. Actually, I would be surprised if they didn't continue with the whole portal thing. Let's grab a few of these. That's a phosphor. Or no, that's a cotton one. Uh, let's see. Auto save in progress. And Ember Valley. The ancient world stirs beneath your feet with every step. Ember Valley is always rumbling, blasting great geysers of water across its coast and erupting lava into its smoldering ravines. It's a primal place, with canyons carved uh, from swirling winds revealing enormous fossils of unknown creatures. Okay, that's going to be interesting. The unique combination of strong geothermal activity and volcanic soil makes for a land abundant in primar uh, primordial oil and lava dust. It makes for a natural home to heat-loving boom, fire, and crystal slimes. 
Strangely, much of Ember Valley's primordial nature feels like a recent occurrence, at least relatively speaking. Its organic activity does not seem like a product of eons of change, but from some kind of unknown catalyst. It would be wise to tread carefully in this place, for a change could happen swiftly and it might just occur right below your feet. Uh -oh. Okay. So... An act post potentially actively hostile area, and we are over here. Okay, that probably means that to get here, there's probably something hidden there or there. Hmm. Okay, I guess it means this is a recently born island. Could be, yeah. Or something went wrong. Okay, a volcanic thing. One of these again. What are these? Oh, oh, they're urns. Okay. So th those are the new boxes <laughs> to break. The heck? Uh, I'm getting very curious to this civilization. They are... Oh, I forgot the term. But they're so advanced that the technology look pr looks primitive. Like, you... You you may not realize that when you look at a rock, you might actually... Uh, let's see... Yeah, better example... To explain better. You can actually identify what you think is a rock. But it's actually a very advanced a device. Yeah. Stargate has a few of those uh, going around and hello. Yeah, it is an actual thing. Though I forgot what, it, what the term is. Chicken, another cuberry, and we have... Okay, heartbeats. <laughs> Let's take a few of those for our gardens. If you listen to it close, you can faintly hear a veggie. <laughs> Oh, come on! Hey, uh, wait, I think that's a new one. Oh, hello. Angler Baddy Lago. Oh, this... Okay. Baddy Baddy Slime. <laughs> Fruit Baddy, Baddy, to be exact. Uh, both sounds new. Yep, and here's the angler. Oh, it's... dear. Okay. I saw this one on... Rolling around, that's a new behavior. Is that something only to these types of slimes? But we're going to have fun just mixing all of these slimes together and just see what yeah. comes from that. Like uh, a, a bad cat. It's <laughs> Actually... Wait, bad cat? Oh no. I think that it has, was a some kid's nickname for Manticores. Okay. It was a bit before they could learn to read English. Or when they started to bother reading titles. Then again, I, me and my brothers had some weird ones. Like we play... Okay, example. Where we play Heroes Mighty Magic 2 and 3. For some reason we called elves... Robin Hooders? And we saw Mr. Dwarf's full Vikings, at least on the first, uh, second game. Okay. Baddy Slime, a fiendish stalker of the night, hungering always for fruits. Baddy Slimes love to lurk in cold, dark places, like caves swooping down from ceilings to scare others with their glowing red eyes and pointy fangs. Hmm? No, they're not vampires. Their glowing eyes lets them see in the dark, is all. They also greatly dislike garlic, because they <laughs> eat fruits, seriously. While in darkness, like caves or at night, baddie slimes grow hungrier and will eat more often than other slimes. And while they can survive in sunlight, the sun's uh, searing rays freak them out a bit, increasing their agitation over time. Again, no, they're not vampires. Okay, so this one has a new mechanic. Oh dear. Or m more a different uh, behavior. Baddie plorts have significant uh, potential for navigation and sonar attack. Each plort can produce a perfect ping for echolocation. Having a supply of these and the right know-how could allow you to navigate even the most devious of labyrinths with ease. But then again, how many of us find ourselves in need of so uh, needing to do something like that? Okay, well, and... let's see. I can think of one person who may need it. Hint, hint. Next to me. Hint, hint. Right. That's angler slime. So pretty. Let me get a closer... 
Anglo slimes inhabit the deepest depths of the slime sea, but have now been discovered on Rainbow Island. It is not known what drew them from the darkest recesses of the far, far range to what could be uh, the most vibrant, uh, but it may have something to do with the taste of a, a plump, sun-kissed drumstick of a sea hen. Yeah. That's a seagull! What? 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 What's real? Sea hen? What do they mean with sea hen? And yeah, I just n pointed over there with your eye right, so yeah, that's a seagull. <laughs> that's a fat seagull. <laughs> Wait. <sighs> I mean, does the seagull just stole the uh, whole pizza? Probably. So that's what happened to him. He ate more pizza. And, and more uh, fast food. The space. Uh, oh dear. Beware, behind the slime angler's adorably fishy exterior beats the heart of a chicken chomping monster. Using their hypnotic lantern like lure, they create a powerful radiant flash that can stun chickens and even other slimes. Hmm, <coughs> pardon? Ugh. Angler ports are able to maintain their form at incredible depth and are ma uh, make for excellent material for deep sea diving tech. Because of this, they are a uniquely comforting object to hold. To know something can be so small but uh, managed to withstand so much pressure is oddly encouraging. Perhaps even inspiring the courage uh, for someone to take on the impossible. Or in other words, to take uh, to take the plunge. Simply for the has a day, no one has been able to really yeah, that the people cannot s swim in the slime sea without sinking the bottom and die. Yeah, though, with, with that, by the fact that pe uh, that at least Beatrix respawns, uh, I think it can be presumed that uh, there is enough slime conscience in there for them to basically just heat you back out if they yeah, like no to. Uh, well, well, didn't this explain that in the last game that there was some kind of device on you that would teleport you back in case you fell out in there? Could be. Crystal slimes? It, it has been a while. Uh, Let's see. It's as clear as shiny transparent rocks that these, uh, <laughs> these slimes are dangerous. Believed to be a cousin of the rock slime, the crystal slime is covered in a crown of shimmering crystal spikes. These spikes seem to form uh, from the crystal uh, slime generated, uh, generating a tremendous amount of internal heat and warping the minerals around them. A truly alien behavior. And they like the odd onion. The sharp crystals adorned uh, on the slime crystal's crown will cause a great uh, deal of harm if touched. Worse still, the crystal slime routinely, uh, uh, routinely creates large patches of hazardous crystals in the environment around them. Uh, thought to be a means of expelling internal heat, these crystal patches are ultra hot and can be added if splashed with water. Though the crystals produced by the crystals uh, by crystal slime are highly unstable, the crystal blort, like all blorts, is far more pure and can be used by slime scientists to engineer a variety of metals that are completely transparent. This innovation has led to metropolitan areas on Earth completely transforming visually, allowing more light to reach the streets and the space as a whole. Uh, as a whole, a chance to breathe. That seems that this that feels wrongly written. Architects often describe these transparent metals as so totally cooler than normal boring metals. It's well, yeah, transparent metals. So another deep uh, deposit. That would be very uh, useful. Yeah, though it also feels a bit weird for when you think of transparent. When you say someone say transparent metal, you wonder, don't they just mean glass? Yeah, it it would basically be an ultra strong version of glass. Yeah, that doesn't shatter. Ooh, almost fell in there. Yeah, like just the idea of transparent metal sounds a bit weird. If you think of a, a glass with metal quality. These hide, these hide in the environment quite a bit better than the boxes did. Yeah, probably for a extra challenge. That and uh, people haven't been here too recently. We know that someone else has been here, but for them to be leaving around boxes of crates, uh, crates of supplies, uh, wouldn't make too much sense. We still have to find wherever this lab is. I. I'm guessing it's one of the unlockable areas. 
Possibly. And also... I don't hope that it fixed the intro bit, but now I realize it is kind of weird, like... We were at the, the dock, relaxing, a bump came, but a letter. Oh, pardon, with a letter. Then we were over here. Abandoning our old farm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing by the time this game would be, uh, this game would be out in the in uh, game, uh, Beatrix would have automated the entire thing. Fuck. I was expecting there to be something there. You've been knocked out, but several rest. Yep. When you're knocked out, you'll rest several hours in order to recover. If you're not careful, you might wake up to a mob of angry, unruly slimes in your ranch. Yeah, I, I thought there was something on the other side. <laughs> and yeah, that's what happens. You respawn, but you lose all of the stuff you were carrying. Luckily, it was mostly food. And yeah. <laughs> we're going to need to put up the higher walls here. <laughs> One just to jump out again. Uh, okay, L let's just use that as an improvised coop still for the moment. Get rid of the these. <laughs> the chicken. Let's see. Oh, that's why you removed the pink one. Oh, here we go. Oh, the lab. Have some ports and new box to spare? If so, you want to explore the wonders of slime science. Check out the lab beneath- Oh, underneath the conservatory to begin uh, crafting backup breaks. Okay. That's good, but that means uh, I, it, 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 it gives cre credit to what I said earlier. I'm not sure if that's a credit said, credit. What I said earlier about a uh, speed up the things you had to work for so long in the last game. This makes sense that the lab is under you instead now. So, feed those annoying little bastards. Uh, yeah, all the bunnies have escaped. Okay, you get extra feed. Go. Pink blocks are the least valuable at the moment, but oh well. Better to have it's some income than not. Yeah, it is. I, well, pink blocks is kinda useful, since yeah, it, it can make you some hybrids are easier to take care of early on. Yeah, and in, this, in the previous game, you needed a lot of slime, yeah, you know, pink slime ports for uh, yeah, a lot of materials. So let's put these back in. Actually, let's start mixing. Yeah. And I kind of like the idea of the water lettuces. But lettuces is a lot of water already in them. So it's just making them more like, even more like cucumbers. Sounds very handy. Let's see. Resource Harvester adds a resonator to the yeah, vac suction me mechanism that shakes loose science resources from nodes in the environment. And we have health and energy. Dash boots. These highly advanced and frankly fashion forward boots reduce the energy consumption of sprinting. The jetpack, which needs radiant ore. Okay. Keep your head in the clouds with this amazing personal jetpack. And tank booster. It traces how much we can hold in each tank. Oh, more tanks! Okay, that that was something that people modded, like to mod into uh, Slime Branch, so that it would give you more you know, tanks to work with. Yeah, water tank and pulse wave. Adds a pulse wave em uh, emitter feature to your backpack that pushes away slimes whenever you need some personal space. Or need to get rid of some... Uh, <clears throat> need to get some distance from tar. Yeah, I think this is a case of they had an eye on the modding community. And probably thought, let's add that in the next game. Yeah. Uh, let's see oh, it's here. A little cave network. Let's see, refinery. Let's add a bunch of these. Yeah, 
everything we put in can't be removed. So we'll have to keep an eye on that, that we don't throw away anything too valuable in there that isn't needed at the moment. For the moment, though... Yeah, let's go make... Let's get some cotton plorts, some new box, so we can start collecting resources as well. Let's see, how's the harvest? We could upgrade these, but at the moment... Yeah, at the moment we should focus on the, <clears throat> on the slimes, feeding them, and getting some money. So we can actually upgrade something. You get out of there. Here's some extra plots. Any there more in here, or are they fed? Yeah, we're gonna need to get more money. After the next batch, we, the Q-berries are the favorite of the Phosphor slimes, but we don't really have a, a good way of, uh, <clears throat> of uh, keeping those at the moment, since they would die the next day. So... Wait, we have cave under us. Would that mean we have... And we could throw them in there, but it, it would be more free range. Uh, I was more asking, do we have more of these under us? Let's go take a look. Uh, after I get the force they just made. Well, I have a feeling that they... Like, if you look if you look at the farm currently, I suspect they're gonna do away with the wool. You need to unlock a new area of the farm completely. Uh, no, there's areas there, there, and there. All right. Let's so maybe this one here. Might be for something else. Okay. This expansion of the conservatory is surrounded by tall rock formation and covers in amber, uh, amber grass. We need 1800 to unlock that. Yeah. There was a goalie and not a cave. Uh, yeah, the cave would be over there. Okay, we could store phosphor slimes down here. We would have to make sure that they don't get out too often, though. Yeah, do let's investigate just in case for if they do have Corella here. Awesome. Pink plorts are needed for health. No. Okay, just next batch will sell. For now though. Okay, some water to get. Over here is a way up. Okay, which the den. This dark damp uh -huh. mushroom covered expansion of the conservatory is a refuge from the sun for slimes and rancid alike. Okay. Alright, so we still need to do some of those then. Yeah. For the moment we can we can keep the bats and phosphorus down here. But we'd have more difficulty tracking them down and such. Yeah. And where does this lead? Or this leads over to the boat. Uh. <laughs> Ew. This, this definitely feels like multiple people have been living here for some time. So the question then is, where the hell are they? Yeah. The question also is, how much did they build? And how much was already here? Yeah. See. It says, I, I, I would not be surprised if some of the stonework was here to begin with. Yeah, some of this stuff is more ancient than recent habitation, especially that freaking teleporter thing. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to check what, what the term is, but I think that is a term. Precursor? But I think it's us. I'm sure precursor is correct. Because the, 
I know there's a term for when something is so advanced that it looks primitive, or the phrase is more it's so advanced it appears broken. But yeah, I, I, the ruins here may look so primitive and all that, but just that there's portals says enough that this is not primitive. This is not a primitive civilization. Bunny stack. Slime totem. For now, uh, we still have this gordo over here to feed. So we need to go get some fruit where we can find it. I don't yeah. think 11 will be enough. Do have to ask, when this game officially release, we should start fresh, correct? Yep. For any new stuff that we might have missed by being past the area already. Yeah, so this is a bit of a... Yeah, since he knows it, is it, us both are a bit tired. Just a relaxing stream. Yeah. Uh, did that... Did that first first line try to fly off with the pink one? Yeah, they have. Yeah, they do. Uh, they do carry around slimes from time to time. Thank you. And there you are. Okay, let's see how far this brings us. Okay, just <laughs> really big freaking yeah. nightlight. Oh, what is that up there? Uh, looks like just crystal, but could be something else. And yeah. Uh, holy. Uh, yeah, we haven't really said anything about it, but the tar are what you get when a a Largo eats a plort that isn't of uh, either type that it you know, that uh, it originally was. Yeah, so like if take a if you take a pink slime and feed it. Uh, a cotton plort, and then we feed it a phosphor plort, and then it will, it, then it will turn into uh, tar. And yeah, basically, they can only hybridize once. Yep. So, yeah, so as quick you add a third plort of a different kind to the system, they go mad. It would be interesting to see if there were a way to stabilize it, with like a make a make a, a triple slime that doesn't go mad. Yeah, but so far, uh, okay. Over, I don't know if this is a good thing to say, but oversimplification here. Half breed is safer than triple breed. That's certainly a sentence. Yeah, it sounds weird to say. Are the... Let's see. Silky Sand, Angler Port. I'm not seeing anything that requires... Uh, there we go, Cotton Ports. Okay, so we can just store all of these in here. Otherwise, I would have sold those. So, upgrades. There we go. Yeah, people, and if you if you play the first game or the second game, don't think you can try and make a super slime to have all combination of the other plorts. Yes, don't. You will regret it. For so that's uh, how Tor is made. And I, I don't think you can get anything from Tars. Nope. Okay, just smack that one right into the wall. In, yeah, into the wall. And this is anchor now. It's been for a bit. Oh, hello, Victor. Oh, Victor. Hello. Hello, Beatrix. Do you read me? Testing, testing. Hmm. Perhaps you are lost at sea, taken away by the mysterious boat, never to be... Oops. Uh, nope. Just forgot to turn the display on. <laughs> yeah, nice to see this is uh, more animated. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, something that we did miss in the first game, because we didn't really do the mini games. Is that uh, their the personal story of the other characters we meet does get to uh, progress somewhat as you uh, reach milestones in it? Ah, so we did miss that. That's 
Nice to see your face again, Beatrix. I have missed you greatly, my dear friend. And one of the things that you yeah would that would happen is that Victor would loosen up with the being stiffly scientific. <laughs> That's kind of relief. And while I am quite excited for you to partake in a new adventure, I already, I already have data that might complicate things. Last night I received a message from some sort of artificial intelligence program. It was written in code, but not one I recognize. I'm in the process of analyzing it. But I am certain that this message was sent from where you are now, the mysterious Rainbow Island. So to recap, the mysterious, mysterious boat takes you to a mysterious island, and I receive a mysterious code from said mysterious island. It all seems quite... curious. Well, I've got work to do, and you best get to exploring. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this home portal. It should make the early stages of your journey easier. Okay. Take care, Beatrix. We'll be in touch. Okay, so one-way trips. And Oh! Okay, so we can call up people whenever we want. That's nice. That is very nice. So this port here, might as well. And again, I am happy they're making the early game a bit easier compared to the last one. Like, the first early game of the last game wasn't hard, but it's good to get some of those things earlier on, in a sense. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise it'll just be repeating of the same game. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the slime port, the slime port, <laughs> slime Rancher one was them experimenting with how to get things working on, and they've streamlined it. Indeed. Take Both streamlined on. for gameplay's sake, but also, probably also for story's sake. Like, yeah, she shouldn't need to relearn everything. Let's see, Airnet, Plort Collector. We'll want this, since they're already getting a bit chunky in there. 500 needed. And yeah, they're they're just happy in there. Wah! And hungry. Yeah, the prices will change depending with time and how much you put in. Like if we if we were to not put in any pink slimes in a long while, the price would eventually uh, slowly go up a bit. But there's probably ranges to what maximum it can get to. Yeah. Oh, I just remember something. Can you even capture gold slime? Nope. So if you okay. see one, instantly feed it. Yep. That... Uh, let's grab a few carrots to bring along the way if we get that lucky again. These are all fed anyways, otherwise the chickens would have been history. Oh dear. Now that we can actually mine the resources, let's go do that. It is kind of scary. They just, they, they, they just feed them chickens. But they just swallow them whole. Yep. Okay, this place is still cleared out from the tar. Okay, next upgrade that we're getting is the backpack, so that we can get up to some place. And hello, what is that? Oh, that, that's the dock. You're still here. Mm, I, I kind of wonder... Uh, I would not be surprised if they, at some point in this game or the next, if they make a next, make the tall slimes more of a threat. And just as you say that, the tar music starts up. Yeah, for... I don't know, do they... Yeah, the Toast Lamp is the only thing that actively attacks you intentionally. Now, there are also may hurt you. Cells, uh, angry uh, or feral and really just pissed off slimes. Yeah. But the Toast Lamps are the ones that move aggressive and also aggressive against you and other slimes. Yep. Okay. Uh, get rid of those. <laughs> Still their food. Okay. So we can mine from these as long as there uh, is a, a spout coming out of it. That's a good way to signify that it is collectible. Easily spotted from a distance. 
Yeah. But bloody heck, it looks so beautiful on day and the night. Yeah. Okay, respawning art is happening. Let's go see if five is the magic number for the Lago here, with the Gordo. Come here. You. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, miss! How oh, how did you miss? You have a massive Largo, and you first shot miss! Head over mm. it! Uh, well, there again, I know you... I will say I know you're not a marksman, but that's probably... True, considering what we just saw. Yep. Uh, like, see any harvests? No harvests. I, I, I could see you do that, miss, if you try to shoot it from very far range to show off. But... Oh dear gods, how did you miss that close? Uh, with effort. Good. Oh dear. I don't think we had a clock in the previous game, but having one to show how late it is and just a guess for how uh, <clears throat> how much time you still have in the night or day is a nice little feature. Yeah. Wait, weren't that in Lost Game as well? I'm not sure. If it was, then we mostly ignored it. Or forgot. Also possible. It's... Oh. Or, wait. Wait, no, I think we did uh, know of it, but we only paid attention to it when we needed to pay attention to it. Could be, yeah. Okay, so these will always give deep brine. So there's no randomization in that, or at least it seems that there's no randomization in it this time. Which was probably a bit of a complaint last time as well. Yeah. God damn it, it's a sil it's a lucky sl slime that eats meat. Ugh. Again! Just, just is this gonna luck, be huh? And there's... Now came a chicken. Yeah. Uh oh. I do wonder... Is it, are the tall slimes trying to eat you? Oh. Or... Uh, yeah, they will actively go after you. Yeah, yeah. After this yes, one. just... Why? Like, yeah, are they because... territorial or what? Uh, let's have a look at the Slimepedia here. There they are. Those awful ravenous rainbows. The tar are formed when a lago eats a plort unlike the ones it produces. A terrible transformation occurs that turns the slime into a sludge filled uh, with a swirling prismatic array of colors and a relentless appetite. The tar seek only to consume and replicate. The only way to stop a tar outside of incinerating it or throwing it into the slime sea is with fresh water. One splash will stop a tar from spawning new tar, and the repeated splashes will destroy it entirely. Alternatively, many ranchers recommend running away with their arms waving and screaming. Look at the diet part. Yeah, everything. <laughs> Including Slime? ranchers. Slime, biggest and ranch. Okay, yeah, they, they will try and eat you. Yeah. On their favorite, they probably should say ranchers. <laughs> oh dear. The tar are the single biggest threat to a ranchers. The tar will seek out slimes to consume and replicate themselves, but will also devour chickens, rot crops in their proximity, and even devour ranchers. Remember, ranching largos may be highly profitable, but one stray plort and you could wind up with a devastating tar outbreak. The tar produced no plorts, only more tar. And then more tar still. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Uh, again, I would not be surprised if they would become even more threatened in, in this game or future games. For so far, they are the, probably the only real threat. Like, yes, the other slides we may attack you if they get angry and such. But these ones are actually dangerous towards you and everything. these. Luckily, they aren't too fast. 
I'll take that. You know, they, they, yeah, they do leave the Gordos alone, probably because they are too big to eat. And as horrifying as they are, they are still rather pretty to look at. In a um, disgusting way. It would be kind of fitting for Halloween, but it looks like a Halloween pumpkin. Yeah. But I also do f suspect that the reason they don't attack the big ones is, well... Yeah, it could break the game in some ways. Yeah. Let's grab these up. Back and out. It's back to the Gordo. Uh, a little compass might be nice as a feature to add in as well. Oh yeah, that's what, probably why you got lost so much all the time. You couldn't differentiate what was no, no at all. You, you even made a map in real life. Yeah, that was more for the hidden things to keep track of that. But yeah, that's a good batch. Let's see. We want veggies and fruits. Heavy ports are up in price at the moment, but uh, yeah, let, let's just store these. It'd probably be a good idea to store any ports near refinery links just for the uh, just for the sake of it. Oh, I so hope for whenever we can upgrade a gun, so we can store more things. Yeah, that's going to make things easier. Yeah, adorable little things. Yeah. Uh, we probably see. gonna need the cats as well as us. We have what we need to, re uh, well, somewhat safely raise cats in the farm. Yep. Okay, some more brine. I've somehow managed to dodge all the jellystone deposits. Last one is of those. Okay, let's go find that uh, cotton largo. Only 20? Weren't we usually able to carry more? Yeah, we, that was when we upgraded. And it seems that the tars implode after a certain amount of time. Actually, we can store these in here because they have no use outside of that. Yeah, that, that brings it to the lab uh, directly, doesn't it? Yep. Ooh, something we can sell. Seems that they're just in the sh shade enough to not be destroyed. I okay. guess the plot itself is safe, just not the slime themselves. Uh, no, the, the slime Peter did say that the, the plots will get destroyed as well. Okay. Okay, now what is in here? Oh, hello, another area. That was a log of this ceased existing. Okay, where is the... Okay, that is over there. Have we been there? I don't okay. remember seeing another rock pillar like that. And also, obviously, extended the stream, considering how long you were away for fixing it. Uh, we could go for 15 minutes extra or so. All right. Oh dear. Bring back some foods. I I'm curious how quickly we'll be able to get our own drones to automate the feeding process. Here we are with you again. You should be ready to burst. Yep, there we go. Okay. Money. Actually, whilst you are all here, Safely inside. 
actually... I can't just gather them up and put them downstairs in the lab. Should be a good improvised way for the, uh, the movement and... Okay. I'm guessing this is for refilling water if we had the upgrade. Yep, that would be that. And hello. And I hear tar. Okay, so we need a tabby plort for this. Uh, let's get rid of the carrots for the moment. And yes, these are some jellystone deposits. It's both solid and squishy at the same time. Materials, resources, next to a vac package of Rancher's best friend, carrots. The heartbeats, chickadoos, hen hen, roostro. It's deep brine, salt of the earth kind of stuff. And jellystone. Jellystone is a semi hardened mixture of minerals and slime, possibly resulting from plorts sinking back into the earth below. Because of its softer texture, it's a favorite stone for sculptors. Deposit jelly stone into the lab's refinery where it can be used for crafting vac upgrades or slime science gadgets. Uh, we will probably want to make a few water cannons at the ranch in case there are tar that, uh, that are created or wander in. Yeah, created by accident or by bad luck wandering in. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, the area the distance should be big enough that they shouldn't, but yeah, better to be safe than uh, having to start all over. Yeah, actually, when I think about it, wouldn't uh, that? Oh, I just read something horrible. Yeah, like if the slimy chicken just gulps them up, gone. Yeah. Doesn't that mean that tall slime does the same to us? Basically, yeah. So. Oh, yeah, you feel like uh, if we were to kill, uh, to be killed by a toss line, would it be it basically will be game over? Uh, yeah. So, I, I guess the developers thought it would be a bit too harsh. For Wait. I think there was a thing in the past that if you got to kill by a toss line, you got game over, but I changed it? Maybe? Could be that that uh, happens, uh, not to my knowledge at least, but then again I managed to dodge the slime often enough. Yeah, and I... I it. It, it was years ago I even saw Slime Ranch Early Access, so I could be wrong. Yep. Okay. Just checking the, port, the, the sides again. So, so far, I suspect from what we've seen of Slime Ranch so far, on both games, that I don't think the developers are oh, into you, you actually dying. Yeah. And I, I like this, that you leave a little trail behind. Yeah, that is nice. I know one of these had something on them. Either deep brine to harvest or water. For now... I think it was deep brine. For the jetpack, we need Radiant or a new box. I guess they thought the... Uh, <clears throat> I guess they thought that this, uh, the back in the jetpack was a bit too easy to get in the previous game. Because you could you could just break the game with that. You'd get all, all into places where you weren't supposed to. To the point that they would start hiding things in those places. Yeah. Though at the same time, you almost needed that. Or you, you, I think you stopped getting lost, uh, or you got less lost when you got the jetpack. Yeah, that way you can just go over everything. Yeah. Oh, lovely. It's, it's probably why it's more open. So I guess the jetpack is meant for later on when you enter areas again where you need it. I don't think we need this many cotton slimes, especially since they already filled this thing up pretty well. If we need extra, we can just throw in... Uh, let's throw a few in there. Just to see if we can reach capacity. You could keep them in them with the... 
Chickens. I must forgot for chicken for a moment. And they, they'll just they'll jump out of that. Over here. Oh, I see they're hard at work. If we throw a bunch of berries down, they should come to find those themselves. I would expect they would be drawn to it, but I guess they're not hungry enough. Oh, but, oh hello. This is also nice that we actually have a physical body this time, unlike last time. Yeah, last time we only had arms, I think. So Yeah. Yeah, nice we have actually have feet. And legs. And with a physical model in-game, this could also open up the possibility for there being co-op in this game. Since yeah, anyone else won't be able to see you. Yeah, we wanted to talk about that? Or... Oh wait, we weren't we theorizing how nice it would be if I had co-op and you brought the, her girlfriend over? Yeah, or boyfriend since... I believe that name was Jamie, which is a unisex name, so could yeah, be either. I think we, we got clearer info that it was a her, the way she spoke about herself. Uh, not too sure about that, but could just be because it's been a while, or that I was just too dumb to get that. We spoke about it at the... That uh, it's one of the few games uh, where you are not just straight. But it was very well, and we did compliment it. Was, uh, it was nice, though, not too much in your face and all that. Just, just sweet. They were, yeah. very, these two were very sweet. Okay, get a good amount of money. Let's see, what shall we upgrade first? Maybe. Mm. Yeah, let's just add a plort collector to make it a bit easier here. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna need that for. You otherwise gonna get uh, crazy. Oh, it instantly gets to work. Alright, maybe be able to afford a feeder as well. I'm not too sure if the, how the feeders re really works too well or not in the previous game. But that could have well, just it... been me not knowing how to set them up properly with uh, feeding speed. Well, we, I don't think we really kept track of it. No, and it, it could just also be that we built the corals too much for them to be able to keep up. Yeah, like there was too many slimes in there to begin with. So they were basically fighting for whenever food were flew in. Do we think the drones did a good work? Yeah. Let's see. So a shield is not needed. We might as well give it a shot to see if it's been changed up. And yeah, that's all the upgrades that we need on this. There's the music box. And here's the feeder. Tortoise and the hare. Let's see. What well, that means? Uh, slime riding slime? Alright, I guess we had to censor that. Uh, yeah, let's take these and go find a tabby, since we need a tabby plort. Of the other um. one, uh, of the other uh, key uh, statues, I'll call them, I don't actually know what we need. Could be, could be maybe just simple. Uh, pink slime plorts? Pink plorts? Maybe, and I just realized the slime that's wrote the other slime, were, they were both bunny slimes. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, they don't need, uh, they don't reproduce like that. Are you sure? For there are many around. What's with the music? It is changing from day to night, so it could just be that uh, different music plays at different times. Well, I would expect that, just... Okay, maybe I was probably... I, I thought for a moment it was the tar music. Or was something bad was to ha happen. I'm taking that away before that one turns into a tar. Yeah, oh, we should probably investigate the other new island we can go to. Yeah. 
I suspect one of the other two islands have the other clothes we need for the other upgrades. Yeah, I, I, I don't think they would uh, let us collect. Uh, they would offer upgrades that they you know, don't have. They yeah, are not going to give us access to. So here goes. Starlight Strands. A vision of dusk and dawn together as one. Okay, that sounds interesting. Starlight Strand is a world of opposites. A whirling uh, land cut radically by the slime sea, with towering heights and cliffs that loom over deep lowland marshes. Alright, it is and all uh, mysterious. Is this you get a shoppy from this? Okay, odd. We would expect that it wouldn't, since we're just reading. Oh well. Uh, it could just be the new area loading in, or something in the area. <clears throat> All the same. Further, it is all mysteriously split right down the middle by two opposite uh, opposing palettes of coral and lavender, with the very atmosphere itself seeming to change as you cross from one to the other. The strand is a floral fantasia, making it an ideal home to nectar-loving honey and flutter slimes, and its canopies are abuzz with hives that can be harvested for wild honey and boswax. Though undeniably beautiful, the starlight strand's peculiar nature is, an unlikely, is unlikely a natural occurrence and suggests a secret history hidden within the heart of Rainbow Island. Okay. Okay. I think this is something... Okay, and there we go. Oh, I think I know what was going on. It's the portal. That might actually let's let's check that out. It is an impressive little thing, and yes, it, uh, it is uh, definitely it, it, the portal. Oh, hello, right next to here, huh? Hmm. We'll have to find a keystone for that. Yeah. Okay. I've, I think this is the, one of the things they need gonna gonna fix. Yeah. As as they go, they will likely. Optimize stuff like that, and we need the jetpack to get in there. Yeah, like, <clears throat> would you call early access a good way of getting uh, playtesters? Yeah, it, it, that is basically what it is. Uh, typically, early access would uh, also comes at a lower price uh, to make up for the fact that the game is incomplete, at least when it's used when it, for what it should. And okay, but that needs a honey slime. Or honey port. Yeah. So it does feel weird that you paid them to be a playtester. It does sound a bit bad. Yeah, it isn't just playtesting. You are not required to send them uh, stuff. And like I said, it is you know, usually the price is reduced compared to when it would release in full. So you are basically getting you know, a discount on the game if it is ever finished. Because there are a lot of early access games that are never finished. And you mean like uh, Seven Days to Die? I'm not sure. If, uh, I'm not sure if there there was ever continued or not. I haven't heard of that in a long time, though. It, it, it is still being developed. They're gonna change the entire armor system since last time I checked, last year. Okay, so it, it, I wouldn't say that would count, but basically, uh, yeah, games that are in early access in perpetuity for basically eternity that the game isn't even worked on anymore. Yeah, the from what I understand about Seven Days to Die, it's it's still early access. They just seem indecisive what to do, and then of course there's also the island, the, the Isle, which has been in early access for years, and they have remade the game twice from bottom up. What I specifically mean are games that are just out outright abandoned, that there are no updates even coming uh, forward anymore, or they just are forced out of early access and in a completely unfinished state. Those oh are yeah, that's those. But yeah, moving on. Rock slimes earned their name from a rocky crown of sharp spikes atop their slimy bodies, but their affection for minerals doesn't end with their appearance. Rock slimes are strictly vegetarians, savoring the crunchy cr uh, sa the satisfying crunch uh, of the heartbeat, most of all. The dangers of a rock slime should be fairly obvious. Their rocky crown is sharp enough to pierce straight through a rancher's boots. But it's not all about watching where you're stepping. 
as the, these rocks are always rolling. Uh, when you see a rock slime revving up for a tumble, it's best to get out of the way. Rock plorts are prized for being a key component in the production of blue metal, an amazing alloy that's stronger than titanium and lighter than plastic. Because of its amazing strength, blue metal is often a key component in the hulls of lightspeed capable starships, synthetic appendages, and protective hollow phone <laughs> <own> cases. <laughs> Wait. Wait. It all of a sudden they're describing me freely in a way. Yeah, yeah sort of. Also, uh, look at that picture of the slime. Does that remind you of anyone? Oh. A whole mask to you? No. Brock from Pokemon. Uh. Uh. What? I think that is what they're going for with this, that they're imitating Brock. I... I know Grok has his eyes closed, just he doesn't look that tired or sleeping like a rock. Oh dear god, they are just. They just accidentally make a pun. Yep. Okay. Uh, you want to can you go to that uh, a pink slime? Here, eat Hillian's boot! Eat it! Well, hello. Silky sand. Oh, okay. silk. Okay, I thought that was mobbed. Oh, hell. Oh, a hunter gordo. <laughs> yeah, these guys, they uh, turn invisible if you're far enough away. Okay, yeah, and they may the attack car. you. Yeah, that's the feral ones. They, they Hunter slimes will still go after you, but in the same way as tabby slimes. And yeah, here we are entering a dangerous area. All the honey. I should, I should start using honey for food again. And yeah, these slimes are angry. We could calm them down by feeding them. But let's just keep going. Here's the honey slimes. Uh, and honey this? slimes, wait, and honey slimes, very good. Yep. Nothing is sweeter than a recently produced plort of honey. There we go. Oh, that lost you. Wait, that I... did he bite you? Yep. <laughs> honey slimes are an odd breed of slime composed of a hyper sweet slime compound. Most slime scientists believe this uh, to be the result of their slime cells replicating the natural sugars found in the fruits and floral nectars of the far, far range. Most ranchers agree that plorts taste great on cereal. The greatest danger a honey slime poses is found in their plorts. Honey slimes are the sweetest, most delicious plorts known on the far, far range. Other slimes can detect them from much further away than a normal plort and will do everything in their means to get them. A rancher with honey slimes needs to be careful about unattended net largos, or worse. Oh. Honey plorts are highly prized by food manufacturers. Though the plorts are naturally incredibly sweet, the discovery that they could be further refined in an even sweeter substance made their demand soar. These refined honey plorts are said to score an unprecedented 867 on the Werner Thumpkins Hong Sacron ending scale. Just a few uh, points shy of not fit for human consumption. Isn't Sacronin sac Sacrino? Isn't that the stuff that causes spiciness or something? I'm not sure, but I think the, the whole thing is made up. <laughs> uh, good chance. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that that just looks good. Golden, <laughs> golden lanterns. Also, you pull the fuck down. And there he goes. Oh, and hello there. Yeah, I kind of wonder, what should we make golden? Oh, honey, I mean, honey. Uh, and I can hear partner uh, tar. Yeah, what's just to say? Do you hear that? Okay, there's a door here. Oh, an angler's here. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Actually, can we... No, we still can't put down our own markers. That would definitely be one thing I would advise to be added in, that you can make your own uh, markers on the map. 
for, well, when you need slime keys and such, or where these Wait. doors are and such. Wait. Have you actually seen a picture of her girlfriend? Yeah, we got a, a few of them, a few view from the back at the end of the last game. And hello. See, hens. Might even have been a good, the best idea to throw that in here. But uh, oh well. Did, did you just throw away the honey clo Yeah, we can get more on the way back. Let's see. Lovable trash, like your favorite bad movie. <laughs> Old sailors say that sea hens are actually demons in disguise and that their vacant expressions are actually a diabolically calculated misdirect to hide evil intent. Plotting, waiting for their moments to strike. But this is probably not true. First of all, demons aren't real. Seriously, old sailors, read a science book. Second of all, sure, maybe they do have beady little eyes and emit unearthly streaks whenever they spy a discarded candy wrapper buried in the sand, but actually they're just hungry. Like, real hungry. Poor guys. Sea hens in close proximity to roosters will periodically lay eggs that produce sea chickadoos. However, keeping too many chickens in close proximity will make them anxious and egg production will come to a halt. Savvy ranchers with an understanding of the complex nature of chicken romance will monitor growth rates in their coops and reduce sen a density when growth begins to slow. Okay. I think I, I think I know what they're meaning here. They want some privacy. That as well, probably. Okay, let's just grab that before this place gets tarred up. Yeah, chickens that actually uh, lay eggs is a diff is, is a new mechanic for the game. Oh yeah, I think they skipped the egg part to probably uh, to speed things up. Bats. And here's the portal. Okay. Oh, that is that a shortcut then? Maybe. Okay. Uh, probably good to take the portal and get the heck out of here. Uh, oh, I did not even note. For me, you were still on the cliff. Okay, that's uh, awesome. Okay. There we go. Um, Okay, so it's just that portal that's the most extreme with the lagging. I guess so. Uh, Again, so... early access, people. Yeah, it's going to be refined and worked on more later. Yeah, uh, I guess mm -hmm. another good thing of think about early access is you, due to you buying it early, you kind of helping the developers to develop the game for your feedback, if you want to give that, but also just economically, you're helping them. Yeah. That, that was what the whole reason why Early Access was started, I believe. Yeah. Like, yes, there has been people who have misused Early Access, and many people are speculating that uh, the, uh, the game, like the Isle, is misusing Early Access. But also many games that have used Earl Access to a very good uh, result. Yeah, like the original Slime Rancher. We need oh that. yeah, that is a good example. Actually, I'm just going to gather up a bunch of plorts and see uh, if we can get rid of this. Why did you throw it over the water just to the slimes? Really? Yeah, there's enough of them already around. <laughs> Let's see. Wasting food, Hillian. Really? I'm not going to risk it over there without a jetpack to ensure that the jump lands. Holy! Do you see that? Yeah, they will just grab. They will latch on like a uh, freaking tentacles to uh, grab uh, other slimes. That is new. Yeah, they did that before. It just wasn't as noticeable because they typically, when Tar started showing up, the the population dropped like a brick, anyways. Yeah, but first time I see they latch out like that. Oh, oh that's the. <laughs> we can see the isle, the big tree from over here. Hello. That is very beautiful. Okay, now where were those 
uh, floor stones or keystones. Hmm. We know now that we need one with the uh, from the bats. We need one from the tabbies and the honey slimes. And yeah, this this portal also causes slowdown. Yeah, no, not as severe as the uh, other one. So I guess, yeah, the portal needs some work. And the early game cutscene. Let's see. I might I get the feeling I'm going to need to make... An, uh, yeah, that was just me stepping on that one. I get the feeling I'm going to need to make a map of each island to keep track of where everything is. Do you really? Uh, we're looking the... around now for where the hell those... Oh, that's a bunch of them. Where those uh, doors are. And they're the keys to open them. Oh, hello. Could get sea hens here as well. Yeah, everyone dislikes... Like, if I see a... If it, usually seagulls are fine to listen to on beach, since they have a, some kind of different vocal going on, different song. But in cities, they are... A pest. Yeah, a pest and extremely noisy. No, it has been more quiet uh, during the pandemic since... Well, yeah, me and my family and others are... What? Yeah, less people to, uh, for them to feed off of their stuff. Actually, uh, no. Something else more clever. Many people have been placing fake birds on the balconies and such and roofs. Yeah, yeah that'll also work most of the time. Yeah, and we have a big owl on ours. Yeah, we haven't been here before. Um... We need, we need to find a map of this place still. Oh, I see something there, I think. I, I guess pod here. Yep. And you. Okay, just decoration. That's nice. Uh, did we even use the decorations? Uh, no, we didn't. Did we even figure out how? Yeah, we could put them down in the in places similar to the other gadgets, but we just never saw really a need for it, since it was just decorations. Yeah, like I don't mind decorations in games, but they should not they should not be decorations that take up but slots that you need for resource gathering. Yep, there's the map, and there's a drone up here. I saw it earlier. Another urn. Says, let's be honest. If you you have a an item and resource gatherer, but then both need to use the same square, which one takes priority? Yeah. I know I'm look, I know I'm on a mission here, but that hasn't changed anything about these geysers. They're still uh, fun as hack. I think I can afford a few minutes for a splash like the old days. I wonder who our new uh, note narrator is. And yes, I saw that. Wait, I think it might be the same one as before. Uh, he he went home, I think. Uh, let's chuck that. I'm sure he did or not. Radiant oh, ore. Oh, we needed that. Yep. We need 10 of them in total for the jetpack, so we're going to keep an eye out for those. And just, you know, just enough to witness the tar commit <laughs> murder. So how can we get to that? We, I think we need the jetpack for that. So I, I, swear, I swear, the tours are probably one of the few things that actually makes the game scary. Yeah. S Especially when we realize they actually eat people. Uh, that's towards the danger area. We're heading. Yep, we're heading back here. 
Oh, more Radiant Ore. It seems that the amount spawned from those is a bit random. Some of them drop two, some of them drop three. From the nodes, that is. Hmm. And these certainly aren't natural. Just keep an eye out for more of it. Okay. Um. Oh, I remember now. The tab. Oh, let's just keep running. Ooh. The tabby port is needed underneath the observatory. Or what was it called again? I think it was the the observatory. The uh, uh, conservatory. Conservatory. All right. Never mind. We both were dead wrong. Not going that way. No, no, I'm live wrong. You might be dead wrong soon if you don't turn away from here. Yeah, getting the water tank upgrade is going to be useful as well in getting rid of the tar. In the meantime... Let's see. Yeah, I... They're placing refinery links all over the place. Uh, that, uh, if they are just putting one of those on each island, that's going to be very useful for us since it'll save us on running back and forth. Yeah, and of course, also the rule upgrade, you can carry more things than just four items. Yeah. It's gonna help so much. They definitely streamline it a bit. Like, the other game was relaxing. But it was a bit annoying to go back and forth, back and forth. So this definitely seems like they are planning to a bit more streamlined and relaxing. Tank liner used at the fabricator to upgrade the tank's uh, Vax tank cards. That's new. A tank guard? Uh, okay. So... Something that will allow us to prevent damage from uh, from TARS, I'm guessing. Or just a general damage reduction. Let's see. Okay. Um, we know of at least two other... No, three slime doors. Uh, one with... I think it was in this area... Uh, with the in the cave, or was that the? It was near the uh, the anglers, I think. And Maybe. It was one that had two requirements, but I couldn't see what type of slime it was. It looked a bit like boom slimes with the cracks, but I think they were too small, uh, too few, to really be boom slimes. So maybe pink slimes. I think it's over here. Yeah, that, that, that area seems to fit the description, so we can head there next. Uh, for now, sell these. And the honey slime plort is somewhere over here. Or was it over here, I think? Yeah, we got one on us. Yeah. yeah they've been busy here. Is there anything we need phosphorus uh, plorts for? Power core, health core. Okay, we need them for the jetpack. Anything else? It doesn't look like it at the moment, so we can sell them and actually tank guard. Salvage. Oh! Salvages 20% of your back tank's contents upon accidental encounters with the slime sea or following other forms of health loss. Okay, that is nice. It's very nice. And utilities. Let's see. Med station rapidly drains your energy to restore health. Fixes you up fast. Okay. Uh, warp tech. Yellow home portal. A teleporter that allows one way uh, to travel back to the conservatory. We, okay. Deep brine, cotton, and jellystone. And decorations. And we yeah, have I, just I, enough I... to make <laughs> the, the portal. I hope they improve decorations that they don't take the same space as the other things. 
Like, yeah, if the know. decorations have their own stations, that is great. Uh, sorry, I interrupted you. Uh, just entering gadget modes. So that it allows us to see where we can plot things down. Uh, plot things down. Okay. Let's harvest. Actually it's weird. The, the lettuce actually looks tasty. Oh, we've gone a bit overboard with the time, it seems, because it's now <laughs> half an hour later. Yeah, but I, I, I guess I, I that was, shows. Uh, I forgot uh, to make nuts. Yeah. This game is enjoyable to the point where you start losing track of time. Yeah. yeah okay. Let's feed. Do, and it is definitely relaxing. Pick those up later. For now, get these fed as well. At least we don't have any others running around that they could. Yeah, we we overfilled it. Wait, have they seriously invaded a chicken pen? Yep. Because pink slimes can't will eat anything. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to mix them with something else vegetarian. That isn't too dangerous. Yeah, you're gonna need a proper chicken pen. Actually, you should probably keep the chicken pen away from them. Yeah. We don't have a next, another plot here, so we could just put it over there. And yeah. Oh, someone's calling. Is it Victor again? No, it's it's Mochi. Okay. Here. Well, what do you know? Beatrix Lebeau uh, off on another adventure and didn't think to take her good pal sometimes rival and forever mentor Mochi Miles. Seriously, B. Uh, next time you go running off the dangerous uncharted territory, you could at least give me a heads up. I'd like to be there for you in case you need me. To help collect all those valuable resources that seem to be scattered all over the island. What? You think I wasn't going to do a little recon on my own? Yeah, of my own. What good are surveillance satellites if they can't snoop on stuff? Anyway, be careful out there. Ellen gives me a kind of weird vibe, so I'm going to keep poking around. Oh, and since I know you're starting from scratch out there, take this refinery link. If it makes things easier for you, I'll just put it on your tab. Later, Tater. <laughs> okay. Uh, mochi. Yeah, I, I think as we would have uh, worked on her milestones, she would have uh, mellowed out as well with uh, the, the uppity bit. It's not, that isn't going to fully remove it, but yeah. So, save and quit. And uh, yeah, definitely very promising from what we've seen so far. Yeah, uh, wasn't it said they're going to keep these, these old axes shorter than the other ones? And... You saw it yourself. A lot more progress has been made on this early access compared to the first game's early access. I can't really say. I don't remember how much area you had access to immediately. Not much. First. Not much. I can tell you this. You did not even have access to many of the caves. Okay. You basically uh... started off on only one island. But yeah, they, they are a lot more experienced now, and is that something there in the distance with that circle? Yeah, what is that? Okay, <laughs> introducing the curiosity immediately in the start screen, huh? But uh, yeah. yeah, let's exit the game, go over here, and go look for someone to raid. Uh, that's the wrong browser. There you go, much better. Yeah, and also not flashbang for Kier, because still, for some reason, that has happening. Uh, oh, a lot of people are streaming Slime Branch to it seems. 7.3k viewers total across the site. Dear. <laughs> Dear. Okay. It, is, it is a very loved game. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Any people we know? There is the Lazy General. Is is that the armchair general under a new name or something? Let me take a peek after muting the site so we don't uh, steal their audio, so to speak. 
Uh, oh, no, it's it's someone else. Let's see. We have the Lazy General, who's streaming Software Inc. Uh, then we have Touch Scaly Tail, who is streaming Minecraft. Uh, from the description that pops up next to it, uh, it they're pro there's, yeah, I think they're playing that new uh, Vault Hunters mod pack. I've heard of that. I haven't played... Wait, Beanie is still online? Yeah, he started streaming not long ago for some reason. Okay, he was streaming a lot earlier because apparently yeah, right. he's been stung by the Elden Ring uh, <laughs> bug. Uh, so, all right. I remember, he started streaming shortly after you started. Okay. Uh, shall we raid Beanie then or someone else? I don't think he has uh, raid alerts because yeah. he's mostly streaming for fun, not to... Uh, well, we are streaming for fun as well, not to say that we aren't. <clears throat> but he, he hasn't been... updated a lot of stuff. Wait, haven't they raided us once? I, I know he visited us once, but what should he raid at us? Not sure. Hmm. Well, but we could raid him or someone else. Uh, let's just see. That That is all the people we know that are streaming at the moment. There's Shrimp OS, but they are doing... Uh, their set is just chatting. A redebut subathon. Okay, new model. Uh, let's see. Any other people? Hamster of Wrath is streaming Battletech. And Lidipus is streaming Lemmings. Um, the Hekis Aerobis Supersonic. Uh, Grimmeth is streaming that. Can't say I've heard of either of those. And. Ta -ta -ta. Kelpe streaming Omega Strikers and Live the Cyber D Hole is streaming System Shock. Any of those sound more interesting than Beanie streaming Elden Ring? I think either Beanie or the one that made uh, was uh, streaming that the Minecraft mod. I'll go take a peek at them. <clears throat> uh, ta -ta -ta. Uh, I think I started. Wa I think I watched them before. Whilst they were stream, yeah, they were streaming this before. Uh, it's quite a uh, high speed, so I'm not sure. Let Let's just go raid Beanie, and we can give uh we can raid uh, Scaly Tail some other time. Sure. Hopefully, uh, but hopefully uh, it gives Beanie a bit of a smile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And maybe one day I'll pick up Elden Ring as well. From what I hear, it is a really good Dark Souls-like game, or Souls-like as they're called now. So I haven't played any before, so I'll probably get my freaking ass beaten inside out. Yeah, no, I think there's not too much story in those, I think. Or rather, you had to really look for the story. Yeah, you had to dig deep for it. Some people like that, uh, others do not. I would fall in the do not. Because I yeah. totally don't have too much time on digging through every little bite of a game. Yeah, that makes me think that it would not be good for us to stream. Anyways, starting the raids. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you as always, Drake here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, maybe tomorrow we'll be able to stream again. Uh... If we do, we'll be having another Showcase Sunday, because it'll be Sunday. Let me just double check, because Night Shifts really screw with my sense of time. Yep, it's Saturday, so it would be Sunday. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, we haven't done a Shante stream uh, in a week or so. So, and we have done an act, we had done an extra main stream. Yeah, you know, week stream. So let's go do Shantae to keep catch up with that. We should be able to finish the game then. And after that, yeah. we will move on to the next main week game that we're streaming. No one lives forever. Is it very true? Yeah, and it's it's a fun game. So until next time, have a nice day, and until then, be safe, folks, and watch out for gremlins. <laughs> and see hands. Oh, taste the sea hands.